Okay, hi everyone. Uh, my name is Trevor Daniel and I'm basically the guy behind Taxi Routes. Um, it's been running as a web only application um, since probably around late 2007. Uh, it covers the whole of England, Wales and Scotland. All the local authority official hackney carriage tariffs are plugged into the system and using Bing Maps I can then get accurate uh, route calculations and a combination of both and a bit of algorithms and some databases enables me to work out what taxi fares should cost around the UK. So as I said up until now um, Taxi Route has only been um, taxiroute.co.uk basically the, uh, the website um, but as many people have pointed out not everybody's sitting in front of their PC when they're looking for a taxi so the inevitable next step would be to write a Windows phone application or an iPhone or Symbian or whatever. So I've started with a, um, a Windows 7 application uh, obviously written in csharp.net based on an API that I've written um, that runs on the web server that does all the background calculations and things like that. So what I'm going to attempt to do now is give you a, a quick overview of um, this very early prototype. Um, it contains the majority of this functionality that I'm looking for. It looks quite nice at the moment but there are there's room for improvements. Um, but I wanted to do a quick video so that the people who don't have Windows 7 phones and um, if they do don't have the developer unlock versions can still have a quick look at what my application is and what it does. Um, so anyway, in advance, apologies for any wrong buttons and out of focus, but I'm doing this with a rather old webcam. That's the only thing I've got around at the moment. So as you can see in front of you now, you've got, uh, I've got my Windows 7 phone. This one happens to be a HD. TC HD7 uh, with a 4.3 megapixel screen. Um, nice device, very pleased with it so far. Um, what I've done is pinned my uh, taxi application to the front page here and I'll go ahead and run it and try and talk you through the functionality. And, uh, so here we go. Obviously click on the icon now at the moment I've got some debugging information in here to simulate that this is actually a paid for version so that we don't get any limitations or anything like that so I'll click OK to basically put it into paid mode or whatever you want to call it so you didn't actually see it this time but the first time you load the application it gives you the ability to allow the application to have access to your location um, it also asks if it can be run under the lock screen and then it will ask you to tell it where your home is. So I've already told my told my phone where my home is. I used that. I did that using the my location service. So it's got a very accurate sort of um, idea of where my home is. And the idea I wanted behind this screen was for it to be nice and quick and easy, and to cover um, the majority of what people do when they're looking for a taxi. So assuming most people are like me and they stumble out of pubs early hours of the morning, can't remember where they are, need a taxi home, I've got a nice easy button there that just says take me home. Underneath that I've got a plan a journey, um, I'll take you on to see that in a minute, and then obviously a settings screen which enables you to configure the application the way you want. Um, it's basically got three switch screens, so if I go across to the right now, um, you've got a list of all the recent um, routes that I've taken. There's obviously quite a lot here at the moment because I've been testing it quite extensively and um, there's quite a few routes built up there. I've got a nice little bin um, icon there that I can go in and delete if I wanted to. Uh, the next screen is basically a favourite screen. It's pretty self-explanatory but the idea is that you can add places like where you work, your parents house, um, the local train station um, and things of that nature. And it basically helps you when you're calculating a route so you don't have to keep typing addresses in or, or repeating addresses if you know what I mean. So if we go back to the home screen again now what I'll try and do is, is take you through a, a basic planner journey really. So if I click on planner journey it takes you first of all to the, the screen where you can um, obviously select your start location and your end location. Now at the moment these are pre-populated by the previous calculation I did. But if I wanted to change my start location I can click on the little magnifying glass and I've got two options immediately from 
my home or from here which obviously uses your GPS location using my location of the phone I can go across and basically free type in any town, city, um, hotel, railway station and things of that nature and I can go across and select one of my favourites so what I'll do here is I'm going to do a route from my, my mother's house so I click on my mother's house click OK and it should go back to the front screen just having a think about it right okay so it's now populated the start location with my my, uh, my start location I selected and I'm going to change the end location to my brother's house so select that and click OK not quite sure why this is taking so long to go back to the previous screen at the moment doesn't normally do that let's try the button again so as you say you've now as you, as you can see I should say um, now I've got the start location and the end location selected so I can go ahead and click the button at the bottom and away it goes off talking to Bing Maps working out a route working out the distance working out the time and then it runs away and talks to my back-end API and works out the cost and it draws the route onto the map so you can see roughly the directions that taxi drivers should be taking um, it's also populated with a number of taxi companies so that you can choose the closest taxi company to your route and basically just ring them so if I click on card of taxis I think I missed again then click on card of taxis gives me the option to call so I can ring them straight away I know they're the closest taxi I've got a good idea of the route that should be taken how long it should take and the price and I can now go ahead and book the book the taxi so I'll click don't call on there um, I've also got um, a list of taxi companies down here so if Cardiff taxis um, aren't answering the phone or engaged or whatever you can then go to the second taxi company second closest taxi company and it, it pans the map so you can see where the taxi company is and you can keep choosing between the sort of various um, taxi companies that have been listed again you can click on the um, phone button next to them if my fingers weren't so big click on the phone button and you can ring any one of them also what I've integrated is the uh, route directions so basically here are the complete route directions for the trip so you can keep an eye on that if you're in a taxi and you feel like you might be going the wrong direction or or whatever um, so we can get rid of those and go back to the full map now obviously there's normally at least two ways to get to somewhere and they're the shortest or the quickest now because uh, fare calculations in the UK are based on um, mileage the majority of the cost is based on mileage I've defaulted to the shortest route so there you can see the shortest route to my brother's house from my mother's and it's roughly 6.14 miles a cost of £12.76 now if you wanted to see what the quickest route was because you're in a hurry and you don't mind spending a little bit extra you can click on that there and it will basically recalculate and this time it's taken a, a different route completely uh, it's gone out via the link road and onto the motorway and come off at junction 30 on the M4 or whatever junction number it is and this time it's saying it's 9.98 miles it will take less time but it will cost you £19.66 so you can make your own judgement there and decide on, on whether you want to go the quickest or the cheapest route really so basically that's the overall idea of the application at the moment um, it's all based around nice easy to use recent favourites, GPS location, uh, integrates with the phone um, and, and it's hopefully nice and easy for everyone to use in the, the, in the UK. Um, a ZAP file is available if anybody would like to actually try this on their phone. As I said you'll need a Windows, phone, a Windows 7 phone and it will need to be uh, an unlocked developer phone for you to actually be able to run this but if you do feel like you've got that equipment and want to have a go drop me a line and I'll be more than glad to give you a zap file so you can have a little fiddle around um, and that's about it thanks for your time and please give me any feedback